for so as you can see on the screen inter a four and a half star team with 89 transfer budget and a club worth of about um almost 900 mil so um i'll um we'll get into a squad and i'll see you then and another thing a uh, match difficulty we'll be playing professional um and if it gets um easy um we'll turn to world class half length four minutes currency sterling European competitions enabled, financial takeover disabled, negotiating strictness loose we're going to start off with, it, international job offers enabled and transfer window enabled. So we're going to advance. And another thing, we will be taking the pre-season tournament, so I'll see you on the squad. Okay guys, so this is our squad and I must say it is quite a good squad. So we'll start from goalkeeper, we have Handanovic. He's our captain and he's going to be really good for us between the sticks. He is 35, so I think um, like one or two, se uh, one maybe two seasons more he can last us. Because 35 isn't as old as it as it is for a normal player. So probably one or two seasons more we can keep him. Then we have Skriniar and Skriniar de Vry and Bastoni. So they're three very good centre-backs. Bastoni, um, he's um, not too high rated, he's a youngster. So I might want to be able to um, bring a replacement for him. And then at CDMs we have Brozovic. At, in the um, midf um, midfield trio we have Brozovic, Nangolan and Eriksson. So Eriksson, the former um, Todd Motspur man. Um, he's quite good with um, pretty um, nice stats. The physical and defending quite low but you don't really want. To phys defending you don't want but physical I think we he could get a bit more. And then we have Nangolan, even he has um, really good stats. Um, he is um, not young, but he he's pretty old, 32 years old, so we might want a replacement for him for in the second season. And then we have Brozovic, who just, in my opinion, he's one of the best CDMs in the world. Then we have Ashraf Hakimi, one of the fastest players in the game. Then we have Perisic on the left-hand side, which I want to find a replacement for. Um, no... Denying that Perisic is a good player, but I think he's not. He's quite old, 31, and I want to bring in a younger cent left mid. And then we have Martinez and Lukaku, and that's probably um, one of the best um, strike striker, two strikers in the game. And then we have Alexis Sanchez, Barella, who's going to come in really handy as he's only 23. Then we have Vidal, Ashley Young, Padeli as our backup goalkeeper. Then we have Diane Brossi. And Kolarov. And then in the back reserves, you just have a few players. Venkino, Radu, um, Ranocchia, Sensi, Gagliardini, Pinamonti, Bakayoko and Damian. So sorry if I um, pronounce a lot of people's names wrong here. Um, please um, correct me in the comments if I was wrong. So um, I what I want is a replacement for Bastoni and a replacement for Perisic. So, the left-hand side. So, I'm going to shortlist some players and I'll see you there. Okay, guys. So, these are the people I shortlisted. For centre-back, there are four. Davinson Sanchez, Romagnoli from Inter Milan. So, our rivals. So, um, if you're on strict negotiation, we probably wouldn't be able to get him. But we're not, so we can get him. Then, Joe Matip and Diego Carlos. And then, at left, we're going to have three options. It's Duram, who has a 57 mil release clause. Everton, who has a 72 mil release clause. And um, Gway Days, you don't have a release course, but so um, I think all three of these can be good options, and these four centre backs can be really good options as well. Um, so right now I'm feeling Diego Carlos, he's gonna be quite expensive 40 to 56 mil. Then Joe Matter, but we can get him for about 35 mil. Romagnoli, we can get him for about 45 mil, and Damson Sanchez, um, nothing, but I'm guessing we can probably get him for about 30 mil. So, um, Raw Magnoli is pretty expensive, so, and with only 8 9 mil, I want a bit left for other players, and 
um for people to um people we can sign in the winter transfer window so we're gonna take him off then diego carlos we can get him for that 40 mil and sanchez i'm not sure he's gonna be too good so i think diego carlos i'm gonna take off as well then um for me it's really between um matip and sanchez and so um we'll worry about that later now left mid i think um everton he's gonna be he's 24 he's gonna be a good and um, play for the future but i don't think we actually um he's gonna be a bit expensive then gray days and Turam we have left and i'm not too sure who to pick between these two so we have four players right now two center backs and two left mi um wingers um left winger and one left mid so what we're gonna do before signing any players we're gonna put a few players on the transfer list and then we're gonna um play our first um, not to play the first um, pre-season game, but if we get to the final, we'll play the final. So we're, I'm just going to put a few players on transfer list and I'll see you there. Okay guys, so I put three players on the transfer list. Um, all three of them are really old. All three of them 34. So um, Ashley Young, we can get about f at least 5 mil, 5 to 6 mil. Um, Padelli, probably like, um, I'd say like... Not more than one mil, one mil, and then Kolarov we can get a good about fifteen mil for him, and all three get are getting pretty high wages, except especially Kolarov. So I made to free some wage budget. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna sim the preseason um tournament, and we're gonna see if we can get to a final. So as you can see, in um, our first few matches are Real Sociedad, PSV, and Leeds. So let's just wait. Um, actually, what we'll do after we first see that game, we'll. So let's just see this first. We get a draw, so that's some good signs. Um, because they're probably the hardest in our group. So let's just see if we got any transfer offers. So let's see play a chat first. Kolarov, ooh, he a bit surprised, but I'm gonna do. I'm looking for options to keep him morale high, and then um, Handanovic, our captain. I'm just gonna say we've got plenty of work to do. Oh, and let's just see um, how many transfer offers we've got. We got one for Padelli, 490. So we're just going to accept that and hopefully he'll be gone. And then uh, we just got a message from the Inter board, chief executive. Oh, and another thing, Youth Academy. I really want to develop the Youth Academy really nicely. So what we're going to do, we're just going to um, view the scout report and use scouting report so let's keep that let's just delete all these offers and then let's see these youth academy players so um i really want to invest in this youth academy um so what we're gonna do we're gonna so play play with so this guy looks like a baller so 8 60 80 94 potential then 60 60 90 so i'm not really interested in these two players so i'm just gonna release them so I want players with high potential. It's okay if they're like 50 and um, 45, 50 rated. I want them to have very high potential. And this guy, at 15 years old, I'll keep him for now. So these four I'm going to keep. And so I'll um, skip that. And then what I'm quickly going to do, use stuff. And as you can see, we got Antonio Monti, five star, five star. So he's a really good scout. So I think we're going to send him to our home nation first. We're going to send him to Italy. So we're going to go to Southern Europe and Italy for, let's say, six months. And type, let's do any. So, okay. And we'll get monthly scout report from him. So when we um, get, like, more into the series, we'll um, hire some more scouts. And, yeah, hopefully we'll build a really good youth academy. So um, this game is PSV. And what we're going to do for this um, preseason tournament, we're going to rotate the squad a lot. So um, our... Other players that are probably never going to play. Not never, but let's just say they're going to play less. So we're going to quick sim this match. And hopefully we get the dub. No, we get thrashed by PSV. So we maybe underestimated them. So I don't think we're two. I think we're going to be about third in the um, league right now. Not league, but fourth we are. So we really need to step up. Uh, so we got... Uh, International manager offer and Perisic. I'm not too interested in selling Perisic. I want to keep him for now, so we're gonna reject that offer. We're just gonna simply leave game. We're gonna play our strongest offer, this um strongest team this game, because we don't want to um, get knocked out in the 
uh, in the group stages. So, yes, we got a 3-1 win. So, that's what we like to see. And Rio Sociedad getting a win. So, hopefully, we should be in the top two. No, we aren't. So, we get knocked out in the group stage itself. We get 1.8 mil. That helps. And so, Padelli, he's not going. But we got an uh, offer D Ambrosi. Ooh, uh, at 31, I'm not too sure we're going to want him. But, uh... I want to keep him for now. You know, he's old, but still. He looks like he's uh, quite a decent player. A sim to the first match of the season. And if anything, any transfer offers come, I'll show you. So, I'll see you then. Okay, guys. So, we get an offer for Vencino. And he's 28 right now. And he's probably not going to grow anymore. But, um, once again, I don't really want to sell these players. But, actually, we go into negotiation. If we can get about 22 mil for him, then I'll take it. What we're going to do is that, or oh, we could do something like a player swap and we could go into midfielders and we could try to get, I don't think Dennis Bright, then wingers, let's see any, um, I don't really think anyone from here either, no striker, oh it seems they um, sold Jamie Vardy, so um, we'll see where he's gone, centre backs. No, none. I think so. They're not going to want to swap. Uh, which now do they have? So that's a good signing. I'm not sure that is a signing. And tell me in the comments, is that a signing or was he there from before? I think what we're going to do, we're going to go for midfielders. They might storm out, but if we get Euro T limits, then it's going to be really good. So we're just going to put zero on a straight offer, submit offer. And yeah, they storm off, but it was a good attempt. It's a good attempt. So we haven't got any offers for um, Color of Ashley Young yet. Uh, not too surprised because they're really old. Ashley Young at 35, so his birthday was recent. And I think it's time to make one signing. So uh, the and think about I think we need one more backup sent um, striker. So what I'll do, I'll find some strikers, shortest them, and I'll see you then. Okay, guys, so these are the players I shortlisted. Um, I have Che Adams, I'm 24 year old, Patrick Bamford, Rodrigo, we got Rodrigo, Fabio Silva, and Ollie Watkins. So, we don't know much about these players, so um, what I'll do is I'll um, scout them and then see who needs to sign. But before that, let's go in for a centre back. So, Joe Matip or Danton Sanchez? What do you think, guys? In the comments, you probably want um, Joe Matip, and to be fair, even I want him. He has quite good stats, but um, one thing that might hurt us is he's injury prone. Looking at Danson Sanchez, he is. Oh, we don't have a scout report on him, so. Um, I think. I think we should go for Joe Matip. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna approach to buy. And if we can get him for about less than 35 mil, then I think it's going to be a good deal. So there's our manager and offer transfer fee. And we're going to offer 32 mil. One more than his actual value. Okay, they want Nangolan. So they want 54 mil. That's a lot of money. So we're going to come back with a 35.3 mil offer. 51 mil. Wow. 
That's a lot of money, guys. That's about half our budget. We're going to go in with a 37.5 offer. I don't want to spend more than 40 mil. 41 mil. We have 49 mil left, guys, after this. What do you guys think? I think for now, I don't... We're going to counter. We're going to counter. And actually, what we might do is do a player swap. And one position we have a lot of people is right mid. So you didn't see, but we have a Hakimi. And then on loan, we have two players out. We have two players out on loan. So um, I don't think I'd mind selling one of our right mids. So we have three left mids. And we're going to buy one. So we're still going to have three. So I think Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez, we're going to do and propose new transfer fee. 30 mil plus Alexis Sanchez. Oh, no, it's not 30 mil. 27 mil plus Alexis Sanchez. Okay. So they stole the offer. So we'll see what they say about that. So what I'll um, quickly do is set up, um, tell my scout to scout Patrick Bamford, Che Adams. And everyone and i'll see you when i've done that okay guys so i've um told my scouts to um get a full report on them so what we're gonna do we're gonna sim right from here um so that we don't miss any messages or if they come back with the matip matip offer that we did and it seemed that matip offer they want 42 mil so i think we're gonna reject that reject Matip's not going to be coming to us. I think Davinson Sanchez will be a really good option. Or another one that's going to be really good as well is Rudiger. Now, in real life, he's not too good. But, hey, what do you guys think? Rudiger or um, Davinson Sanchez? We're going to shortlist him. And he's a long... Shooter, long passer, long passer, sorry. Damson Sanchez. It looks like he has good strength, aggression, interceptions. Defensive awareness, stand tackles, slight tackles. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go for Damson Sanchez. I think a swap will be best. So wingers, let's go and let's go. Ask Alexis Sanchez once again. And we lost the Alexis Sanchez plus, let's say, 15 mil. What do you guys say about that? Come on, Jersey. Nangolan plus 9 mil. I don't want to let go Nangolan. Like, why are all these managers wanting Nangolan? He isn't that good of a player. Like, he's definitely very good. But, so I, we want to keep our four centre backs because we want five. Uh, we only have two full backs. Goalkeepers, no, none. And it seems Handan, which is only worth 2 mil, for an 88 rated keeper, 2 mil. What are you guys saying about that? That's really low. That's a bit of a disrespect there. We love for Ashley Young plus, let's say, 25. 25. Ashley Young, that's about 29 mil, almost. They want 27, so we're going to accept that 27 mil. we take that. So what is the weight going to be? So um, we're going to put him at an important. He's probably going to be crucial. Actually, he's probably going to be important. Yeah, so that's what he wanted. Then he's 24 right now, so we'll give him a four-year deal. Until he's 28, and that's pretty much the end of his prime. Then no release clause. That's what we want as well. Okay, so 60k. So we're gonna get rid of that bonus. And we'll give him a 20k more signing bonus. And yes, yeah, so that I said. So let's just take a look at him. So 81 rated. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll take a look at him in the squad actually. And then Bastoni, he looks like a good um, person for the future. So we'll swap him out for um, Dian Bossi and then swap him for Bastoni. And pretty good stats, 2 star, 2 star, 6 2. Aggression. So 
So no trade. So um, I wouldn't say that's good, but at least it doesn't have like an injury prone trait. So actually, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sim to um our first game unless something happens again. And yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, another thing, guys. Um, so we did get an offer for Devry. So monthly scouting report. Uh, he lit this D Dizio Martin Marini. So I'm going to sign him up. This guy looks really good as well. Ooh, I think I'm going to reject him. I'm going to sign him for now. And I'm going to reject him. Only 200 value. So all these um, scout reports have come back. So Watkins we can get for about 15 mil. Bamford for about 4 mil. And Jay Adams for about 10 mil. So I think Watkins is going to be a really good backup striker. Fabio Silva I forgot to, but I don't really want him right now. So we'll get rid of Joe Matty. Uh, and I think Rodrigo. So right now it's just between Jay Adams or Watkins. Or Bamford. But actually, I'm not too sure. 72 rate, I'm going to get rid of him as well. So I think Watkins is the person we're going to go for. Ollie Watkins, right wing as well, he can play, so he's really dynamic. So he'll offer transfer fee, and he'll offer 11 mil. Dean Smith wants Sensi, so that's about 20 mil. That's a lot. So we're going to propose new, and we're going to do 12.5 mil, around 16.9 we're, um, we're going to try to save as much as much money as we can. We're going to go for 14 mil. Because we want about 40 mil to sign another player. 17 mil. Now they want even more. Wow. 15 mil. 15. 17.1. They want even more money. Okay, I think 16 is the highest I'm going to go. If it comes to like 16.5. Okay, 16. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Smith. We it was definitely about a lot more than its um transfer um actual transfer market value about six mil more, more, but so so I think it's gonna be a rotation. So yeah, so that's what he wanted. Three years, that's what he wants so. Then disregard the race cause. So he wants ten k more. So I'm guessing that's okay. But okay, he wants three more k, so we'll accept that. And our second signing, we have sealed. It, and it is Ollie Watkins. So, Devry, we got a swap deal for Kulisevsky. So, he is actually a really good wonder kid, but that's a, that's less than his value. So, I wouldn't have. I, I might have. Actually, nah, Devry is one of our best players. Okay, so now what we'll do, and this time actually, we'll sim to our first game and start off the season against Udinese. Okay, guys, we're here at our first match against Udinese. So, um, we got a Lukaku transfer offer and 64 mil. That's actually a very a lot of money. We're not going to do anything about this. We're going to play a game against Udinese and then we're probably going to end the episode um, there. And I'm going to ask for your opinion. What do you think? We can get up to 100 mil for him, which can be really big for us. We can sign a really quality striker. So, Udinese... Uh, we're going to go with our strongest 11 in the first match of the season. We want to win here. So we're going to play the match. So we're going to continue. So Davinson Sanchez, our new um, signing, his first impression. And we are away here from the Stadio Nader. And it's the first game of the Serie A for us. Maybe. I don't really think we're going to get... And we're gonna, oh no, and they're already through. And what have we done? We conceded in the first four minutes. In the first three minutes. What have we done, guys? If the season is like this, then we're, we're going to be fighting to stay up in the league. And they have Dries Mertens. Okay, and it's a really good play. And it's a hand and it saved us there. And now we're on the counter. Nangolan. We slow down the play a bit to Lukaku. He passed it out to Martinez. Martinez, can you do anything? And yes, he can. It's 1-0. And when we responded in 10 minutes, Lautaro Martinez with a celebration there. And game on here. 
at Udinese Stadium. In this game, one bad pass can lead to um, you just going down. And so, your opponent scoring. And it's a really nice tackle there by Devry. And, oh, phew. For a second, I thought that was a foul. Martinez, Lukaku, will you give me a run? No, but Perisic has given that. Good defending there by them. The goalkeeper boots at the ball. And now we're on the attack. As I said, one bad pass. And now we're on... Lautaro Martinez, could he score the exact same goal? And yes, he does. Lautaro Martinez with the second goal of this game of this season. And we're 2-1 up in 30 minutes. And what a response there by us. After being 1-0 down in the first about 3 minutes, we're back and we're doing one up. And then screening and De Vries are just overall really good centre-backs. Now they might do an attack. It's a bad die, tackle. Ooh, we got lucky there. It was a bad shot. To Lukaku. Oh, and really nicely done there by Lukaku. Can he find a pass? Yes, he can. Well defended there by the defender. It's a nice whip in Lukaku. Can he get to it? He does get to it, but it's just wide. You know, Lukaku, he basically, um, I've seen a lot of this in the game. And Lukaku and players like him, who are like really tall and have a lot of strength, they're just cheat codes in corners. They just get the ball every time. And Lukaku takes a long shot. It's a really good save there. We could have gone closer and just um, scored, but, you know, let's try something different. Lukaku, can he get to it? Doesn't this time. He passed it to Nangolan. Oof. So Perisic gets the ball. And it's half time. So we're 2 1 up at half time, away from home, which is huge for us. So Caligari versus Atalanta, I think that was. No, no. And I think it's time for substitution. I think Vidal, with the experience, we're going to bring on for Brozovic. Mm. And we're also going to bring on, uh, I think, Barella for some extra pace in the midfield. For Lesson and Golden, and we'll swap him around for Ericsson. So that's what we're going to do. Two new centre mids, and the second half starts here. Can he do anything from here? Nice dribbling. Some really nice dribbling. And he threw. Tries a finesse. Straight to the goalkeeper there. He passes it to Vidal. Vidal, can he do anything? He takes a shot. And it's a really good save there. And um, if you see the replay, he stretched his arm out a lot. Uh, yeah, really good save there. So, GG to the goalkeeper. He gets screen here. He passed it to Vidal. Can he take another shot? Can he get his goal? No, he can't. He passed it to Lautaro. And Lautaro... Oh, no. Paris is that was. Paris is nearly got his first goal. So, I'm going to cool a play this time. I'm going to try to whip it in. Um, so, Ericsson gets to it. It's a nice pass there. Oh. But, but well defended by the keeper there. Sanchez passes it out to Skriniar. Skriniar passes it to Vidal. Vidal passes it to Perisic. And could he cross it in? Could he find Lukaku? No, he can't. Yes, he... Oh, no, he can't. Vidal to Lautaro Martinez. Can he use his pace? He gets onto the wing. He passes it to Lukaku. And Lukaku scores 3 1. And that is probably the game sealed for us this match. Lukaku with uh, his diving, doing some twists and turns. And we probably secured a dub. But don't get too overexcited yet. We make a, we're going to make a substitution. And Martinez, Lukaku, Perisic, Hakimi, they got really tired already. So, what we're going to do, we're going to bring on Sanchez for. Uh, Martin, as now, we're going to bring on for Perisic because Perisic is quite tired and we keep on Martinez. And he left winger, so we won't really leave, we just sprint to left mid. So he doesn't lose that many points. So that's a bit of a weird formation, but just to make sure he plays as an 80 rate. He's actually playing as 77 in minus 3, but that's because of sharpness. Could you find a cross? 
I don't think there's any space there. Vidal comes round. He takes a shot. And what a goal that is by Vidal. That is a stunning goal. Vidal, the 33-year-old veteran, scores probably one of the most magnificent goals we're ever going to score in this series. If you take a look at that, some camera turns here. And what a goal there. From a... Oh, and the flag comes in the way. Wow. And let's just take an instant replay look at that because I didn't see that there. Instant replay. Let's just hide this. Let's try to take from another angle where it look really nice. This. Okay. And that's a brilliant goal. No chance for the goalkeeper there. No chance at all. And uh, that's a contender for the goal of our season. Maybe goal of the series. And another long shot. Oh, that was actually really close. Alexis Sanchez. So these veterans are getting involved a lot. Alexis Sanchez. Oh, not enough goal there. Ooh. They could get a second goal. And they get the ball back. Will they get a second goal? And yes, they do. 4-2. I guess fair play there to Udinese. Some really nice, a really nice attack. But not... And we could have defended much better there. I don't know why that man was unmarked. But... Still, we'll take it. Uh, we still got the 40 win. And could we make it 5-2? No, we can't. That was a really heavy touch and it's ended. So, 4-2 in our first match. And I think that's some really good signs. We did um, concede two goals, which isn't going to help much with our defence. But still, we'll take it. We get a two-goal win. We get a two-goal win. Advantage win over Udinese. Uh, we are first. And we're the only team to now who's got to win. But to be fair, there's only been about five matches. But four draws in the same game week. And not all the games have even happened. So, yeah. So, an emphatic win. So, what we'll quickly do, we'll put um, Watkins on the bench. And Watkins will probably often be a super sub. So, uh, we'll swap him out for Ashley Young. And... So that's the end of uh, um, episode one of the uh, Inter Milan crew mode. I hope you like it. Give us a um, like and I'll see you in episode two. Peace. Okay, guys. And finally, one last thing is that season goals. So um, normally we would ask you guys to do it, but this time we're doing it ourselves. So as you can see on the screen, these are our four season goals. The first one is European run, reach a quarterfinals of the Champions League, our current stage is group stage. Then the front men score 40 goals with Martinez and Lukaku combined. So I think that should be pretty easy because we already got three in our first game. Then the Mourinho way concede less than 30 goals in the Serie A. And I think that's going to be really hard for us because we've already conceded two in our first game. So that's going to be really hard probably. Silverware win one trophy this season. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be aiming for the cup. Because um, the league, the winning the Serie A will be really hard. But cup, we need a very good cup run. And forfeit, if we don't complete at least three, we have to accept every bit in the summer transfer window next season. So we can't even negotiate. If we get a 10 mil offer for Lukaku or Martinez, our best player, we have to accept it. So there our season goes. That's it for today and peace.